had a, another panelist on there. It was Hannity. He was hosting uh, uh, this Brent Bozell fellow and another uh, guy that he called a liberal columnist. And uh, the liberal columnist was all for the fairness doctrine. And uh, Brent Bozell, president of the Media Research Center, he was all against the fairness doctrine. Now the fairness doctrine, what it does, requires a uh, equal time for opposing viewpoints, and uh, it would actually put in place uh, community boards that would determine if uh, the opinions expressed on uh, certain shows were compatible with the opinions of the community that they were being aired in, that the shows were, you know, being heard in. And it would give these, uh, these community groups the authority to, you know, petition the government to have, uh, certain opinions, you know, removed from the airwaves, or at least have, uh, equal time given to opposing opinions, which would of course mean the removal of the other opinion, at least for certain times of the day, because, you know, how are you going to make room for the opposing viewpoint, you know, without taking somebody away that has the first viewpoint. So, this was all very distressing to Mr. Bozell, who was a conservative media critic. Uh, and he launched into this thing about, you know, why should community groups have the authority to mandate that opposing viewpoints be heard on certain mediums? Uh, and it's a very valid point, you know. And he said, uh, if, if this were a viewpoint, that was popular, that was in demand, that people wanted to hear and wanted to listen to, then they'd have no problem finding airtime for these opposing viewpoints. Because, you know, there was they, they would be profitable. If enough, if enough people wanted them, they would they would simply indicate that desire by tuning in and listening to their radio show. Voluntary listeners is a sign of demand for certain content. And of course he's right on the mark. That's exactly true. Why should the government determine, you know, what speech we hear on the radio? Isn't that government controlled content? Why not let the market determine what they want to hear. But L. Brent Bozell is a total hypocrite on this issue because I just happened to be searching creators.com looking for Thomas Sowell content when I happened upon a column by Mr. Bozell. This column was me moaning uh, the situation between the Fox, uh, not Fox News, but the Fox Broadcasting Corporation and uh, the Supreme Court, where the FCC was taking these guys to uh, court over the use of the F word on their airwaves. Now, this this column, and I'll link to it, was fraught with references to, you know, community standards and decency and things like that. But I just want to ask Mr. Bozell, why is it, you know, and he was on there on Sean Hannity complaining that, that the Fairness Doctrine would not be applied to the networks, it would not be applied to the NBC not be, it would not be applied to the CBS TV News, it would not be applied to MSNBC and CNN. Well, I just want to ask Mr. Bozell, why doesn't he believe in his idea of the market determining content 
why doesn't he believe in in taking that from talk radio and applying it back consistently to network broadcast television? Because see, if that's really offensive to the community, we don't need the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, a, a, a government bureaucracy, determining what the speech can be. Why does the FCC get to say what goes on on the airwaves? Well, because they're public airwaves? Well, there are no public airwaves. Those airwaves are bought and sold for tens of millions of dollars. But if you want to say they're public, Sean Hannity broadcasts on the same public airwaves. If there's no demand for that product, if the F word is truly offensive, people will not watch those shows. They will not watch Fox Broadcasting Corporation. And Fox will lose viewers. The only way they make money is being able to sell advertising space to advertisers who want to appeal to the viewers that Fox attracts. With no viewers, their advertising revenue will dry up and be gone overnight. So why is he not willing to apply the same standards of market determining content, free market speech, why is he not willing to, why, why does he criticize the liberal columnist on Sean Hannity and then write over on creatives.com about how the FCC has the right to regulate Fox? Well, I thought you were all for the market determining content. What gives, Mr. Bozell? What gives? Is it the market or is it government that should determine content? Because you, sir, are a hypocrite. You can't have it both ways. 